So, 3rd of October, bank holiday here in Germany for the big day of the reunion when East and West came together. Although the, the wall came down at the 9th of November in 1989 when I was in the car traveling to a chess tournament in Munich and we just couldn't move on, right? We were driving all night, but all those people were on the street. And yeah, so anyway, but it was a great experience, right? All came down 9th of November, reunion one year later, 3rd of October. So this is uh, 27 years ago now. And 28 years, they were separated, right? War was set up in 61 and came down in uh, 89. So 28 years with the war and now 28 years without the war. Eight, 89 came down, 2017 now. So 28 years. And this is uh, virtually all my life, born in 59. But you didn't want to know that, but you may have checked already over here. What I've got for you today, and this is about the betting market, and say in general, or I would just like to introduce at some point the bet types, right? I mean, you might all uh, be familiar with this, I'm not sure, but there are certain types that I would uh, actually favor, and I watched some people right now in, uh, because I'm, I'm setting up a channel myself now and try to explain things and then you check what other people would do and tell you about it and you know I would of course only trust myself whatever they tell you even if there's something behind it uh, I, I, I still would you know I would think I know a little better or I could explain li uh, a bit better what this would be about but you need something to see and maybe yeah if you listen to my explanations maybe you say okay well done I understand what he's saying or it's getting a bit too complex as I tried to point out to, to beat the market is not an easy task you all would wish to have those winning bets and this does not exist right I can't tell the future and I used to say you know even if we both made the same kind of bets over a year right then still, you know, I, I wouldn't know any better, so I don't know any better, but if I get the better prices, because I have a better timing, for example, set up here, twice, even twice, this was by mistake, but um, then I get the better price, so I still have more money than you in the end of the year, right? So I don't know any better, right? But you need to have the better prices. So it's an inch here or a yard there that you can gain and make up and, 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 and you know, you come closer. And, and that's what it's about, this business. Maybe some of the pros try to explain that to you or, you know, just make the good decisions, right? And, 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 and get away with the, the, or stay away from the, from the bad ones. But there are many, many such advices and, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, at this time I'm, I'm, I try to explain this betting market and it's also, uh, there is a historical part and there is a development in that and, and you know, I, I'm, I'm getting back to those things so that there would be a lot to tell about this as well. But just into those bet types, uh, e.g., or, yeah, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to point out here, I mean, this is the classical 1x2. I mean, you can also ask yourself, you can approach everything from, from, from different viewpoints, right? And, but in this case, I would say the classical 1x2, right? You, you just, you know, there is uh, a game on, you have three possible outcomes, right? You don't care so much about 3-1 or 3-0, or is it a 2-1, right? You are happy with your win, or you are on the receiving end, but anyway, you know, there are three possible outcomes, so it's a certain, you know, and this is actually what matters. You can say goal difference in the end of the season, maybe if they are level on points, but usually it doesn't matter that much. And, and you would be angry even if, you know, I can always uh, bring in some, some anecdotes and, and uh, there were, there were some, some classical of those, but, but yeah, I, I should leave this away here. But uh, really exciting ones, and then maybe you would like them, but that's a different story, entertainment. And now we're into subjects, we're technical somehow, right? And, and no entertainment there. And, um, okay, 
um, the uh, what people would be interested in, right? And so they are interested. Who's going to win, or is it going to be a draw? Okay, so there are those two outcomes. And this is, you know, if if you read those talks also in the, in the pub or so in the evening. How did Cologne play? How did HSV play? Okay, they lost. Okay, I don't need to know anymore by what scoreline. Okay, it doesn't matter. They lost. They lost. That's it. So this is, you know, this will always be there, right? The classical 1x2, you simply bet on a result. The, 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 the way, you know, you could always argue about how is the money, uh, which way is it moving, right? The, what everyone would say, it's moving towards the... Uh, bookmakers, right? That's what we want to try to stop. So we wanted to go our way, but but this is the the tough task. And uh, so, um, uh, how has it been set up, right? How are these prices compiled? Where do these those prices come? Right? I heard I heard so many people saying things about that 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 is all rubbish. But oh, yeah, okay, why are they talking rubbish? You know, it's all about probabilities and. Uh, but those experienced people setting up the prices, and I'm always asked, yeah, when would they start with it, and and why would it, you know, where does the first price come come from? I could do it myself whenever you wish to, and I, I also showed in one video how simple it is actually for me to compile prices. Okay, now, so this uh, short interruption here, and you know, my daughter, anyway, it happens. Um, so I was into explaining this, European market, classical market, where does it come from? What, what would you be interested to bet on, right? If you, you, you know, you, you're somehow, or many people may be excited about an upcoming match day. So now they split it, salami yeah, match day, they say, starting on Friday, ending on Monday. In, in Primera Division or in England or also in Germany, in Germany Bundesliga 2, Bundesliga 1 is from Friday through Sunday. Anyway, so they split this because they want to, those live um, shows, so to say, um, live broadcasting and, and people watch it and then they, they would, you know, they're interested in, in, in the result who's winning it and not the correct score. Maybe they are, as pointed out here. As well, but but uh, more who's winning, and uh, where do the prices come from, and and you know somehow related to a probability, and 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 how would you compile a price? I was trying to partly introduce you to that, and and uh, of course, yeah, how would you to beat this market, and which way the money flow, uh, general is going, and what, how stable a, a certain market is, and how reliable, and where you could find the 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 soft spots where you, where you may have uh, the the edge on your side. Um, uh, but anyway, um, there's classical 1x2 and this will always be there, I guess. And there's the over-under market, which which is, you know, it has developed somehow. It, it wasn't when I was starting in 1988, you can say. There was rather no over-under, but they, they somehow spotted, oh, that's interesting. Now the, they start and mathematically somehow to work it out and then they set up the first prices and they say, okay, we're going to uh, see what, what people think about it, right? And so they set up over under and, and you're into this as well as I have found out and usually, you know, people, this is also you can say, well, usually the people here would say, I would like to see some gold, so they go for over, but... Um, you can also say, okay, under, uh, maybe there are no goals, it's a boring game. I'm not even going to watch it, but I look at the result, nil, nil, okay, my money, I want it. Anyway, um, it's, it, it's a bad type and it exists and it's, it's well accepted and it's pretty big. This is also important, right? There was a corner market, for example, right? When, when people bet on corners, there, there are several problems about it because, for example, a corner um, has been um, given, but uh, instead he stopped the, uh, the halftime whistle, right? He stopped it, for example, the game. This was not, uh, it was given, uh, but, but not, not uh, executed. So, um, what, what does it count or does it not count? So, uh, and things like that. And who ki who's kicks off, right? You can have an instant bet on uh, who's got the kickoff. And you get one 80 aside, and I don't know, so this is just rubbish, but you want like flipping a coin, 
and this is what really happens and you see uh, your side or the other but that's not a big market for sure I mean you can have some excitement maybe 10 euro and and you, you win it in, in the first second of the game or before the kickoff but um, or right at the kickoff but um, th that's not attractive and, and not a big market this is what I'm saying so you don't care and, and if you knew something you knew uh, whatever the referee and he says whatever that shows I'm gonna give the, the kickoff to this side but that's into fraud which I would like to talk about later uh, betting fraud um, yeah when all the cheating went on I don't know anyway it's different story uh, there's over under there's correct scores I mean th this is I mean you, you have a small chance and, and if you go for a 5-0 for example and and then your team is winning 5-0 and in the last second they, they concede a goal and they are all still happy and then you are angry because you, you, yeah, they, don't, they don't care for your bet, right? So uh, if you go for 1x2, they would care for your bet. If it's an x and, and you got a 2 bet that you bet on and then the goal is going to come, so it's, they are happy, you are happy. They wanted it, but, but they don't want the 3-1 when it's 2-1, they, they want the final whistle. But, so in case you go for a 3-1 and you say, why don't you go to the goal instead to the corner, corner flag? Because you want the final whistle. He doesn't care for your bet. If you go with a team, 1x2, you go with a team, definitely. And, 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 and they, they want your result, or uh, in some sense, if it's an X, they might want to avoid it, but, but still it's, it's uh, what counts, right? Anyway, so this is where some of where it comes from, and also you know about the what could be interesting, and um, this is what people are into, and this is usually what the what the betting market would offer uh, to you, right? Because they want their turnover and to make their money, and uh, so they are giving you this. So correct scores is not a big market and won't be because it's it's not, you know, you you're not um, you you can get it right, but but um, yeah. It's it's uh, they don't care so much for your money, right? <laughs> okay, half time, full time. This is what I started with actually because I was sure market was making an error there early and early on, and I still think I'm pretty right about it. But it's not a big market, so you you could just uh, I don't know if 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 you this has been attacked this market by professionals, which is not the case, and it's not such an exciting bet as well, right? You won't bet for half time X. That's what I've done. So because I'm asked for strategies sometimes, I went for uh, halftime X and uh, uh, outsider to win, right? And because this was for me, this was overpriced. But um, I could also prove that with some with them. But you know, it's not an important market. You could, I could, I, I bet a couple of hundred uh, German marks then, and and I was successful. But it's not a big market, and and, and there's other things now. A certain team to score, this is something you may be into because, you know, they, they certainly would like, to, they, they try to, any team would, would, would love to, to find the net somewhere, right? So, somehow, I mean, yeah, this is what it's all about, right? You want to score goals, so a certain team to score goal. It's other than over-under, it's just your team to score or maybe over one and a half, or so score a couple and so on. This is, so that's pretty interesting, so it's not really... It's 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 uh, yeah a decent market there. Uh, single bets and combination bets. I just wanted to leave this here. You know, it's, it's not such a, such a fine structure in this, but uh, just wanted to point out that, that you still have the chance of uh, of making single bets and combination bets. And usually, you know, the small punters they go for small money and they want to win big, so they make those big combination bets. But it's not a strategy really to make money. It's, it's you want your excitement, entertainment, but don't expect to win, okay? Don't expect to win. Have your fun, have your excitement. 10 euro, it's not, not a lot of money wasted and, and you enjoy it, so go ahead. But not, don't, you can ex expect to win once in a while, right? Usually 10 people <clears throat> tend to, to think about this bad luck and, and, and those bets and um, uh, because they, they get uh, 10 games and they get 9 right, but, but you have to understand that the probability is 10 times bigger uh, to get one wrong instead of, uh, yeah, yeah, over to, to get them all right. So you, you will have 10 times you will have to complain, I didn't win it because of one, until you win for the first time. 
I mean, just those, those comparing those two, I mean, eight, yeah, there's a bigger, uh, even bigger chance. This is uh, nine times four, 36 times as probable. probable. To, to get two get, uh, wrong instead of getting them all right. So you will quite often have two, <laughs> two of your um, single bets wrong. Anyway, the, 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 the um, difference between single and combination bets and usually, yeah. And the, the best of those, and I, I, I would always recommend it, but it's only as soon as you start to be a bit more professional, go ahead and, and make those uh, system bets, right? Three out of five, uh, four out of ten, I don't know, any any kind of uh, the, those, because you you, 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 you you get a better spread of your money, a better distribution of your money, and so you can measure better if you're doing okay. Of course, if you're on, on the wrong side, you will rather lose pretty, you know, constantly. <laughs> but if you're on the good side, it would go up. <laughs> I, I can't tell you really how to... Uh, but uh, anyway, you will have a better reflection of how you are doing, right? And, and uh, there is just this one chapter, and I'm going to close this, and I can't go into this, this video I'm going to have to end here. And it's about long-term bets, and they, you know, I, I, I did, this was what I started with to, to compile those, but, but this is for the big tournaments, right? If there's a European Championship or the World Cup, Go ahead, I've, I've done that, you know, it's two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, sometime now, okay, they, 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 they uh, extended this, the, the length, but still within four weeks you still can say, and you have some excitement, so to say, in every day and every game, right? If you, you, you know, if your team is still in and you've got a good bet, I, I started off with a couple of good long-term bets, but only for the big tournaments, right? So, uh, because the, this is, you're into this tournament, you're, you're not, in, you're in a season somehow, if, if it starts a regular season, the, you know, who's going to win the German title, but, but, but it's not, you, you can't be excited throughout, right, you, you, you say, okay, Bayern are going to win, but I, I had Hertha a couple of years ago, when they were very close to winning the title, so it was 70 times the money, but just a very small bet, so it's not that, you know, sometimes it's, but, but they lost then and, and uh, it was all over. But uh, it, it is, uh, you know, long-term bets do not have such a meaning at the market. You may still go for, you know, and, and combine the, the champions, but usually you go for the favorites, so it's, and, and then there's no margin in that anyway. Um, but, but hitting an outsider here or there, like Leicester or Greece to win the European Championship or so, yeah, but, but how would you find those outsiders? I used to go for, for them, of course, but, but um, yeah, I, I can't explain all this right now. But long-term bets have, don't have such a big meaning. It's especially that you, that you yeah, if you play with a, with a regular bookie, you usually have to leave the money there. So if you go even go for a thousand euro or something like that, your money is like, you know, it's gone for this for one year more or less, nine months at least. So why, why would you do this, right? You can do lots of things uh, meanwhile. And um, so why would you do it? So it's no meaning at the market. No, for the big tournaments, yes, and it will always be there. And But for the regular season, no real big meaning. So it's just for the small punters. So thanks you all for watching now. I'm going to close this, but I'm going to come back with the other stuff. And um, okay, I hope you enjoy and um, leave your likes or comments or whatever. And tell me what you wouldn't wish to know and, and so on. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. See you.